Welcome back to the Red Shoe. This is part two of moving the table to school. Just for review, what we packed in the box was the platter, the turntable mat, the turntable base with tone arm, the dust cover, and the cartridge and counterweight. Now I'm going to move all this stuff over to the bench and we're going to set it up for play. So we've uh, moved all the pieces over here to the bench, which is going to be the temporary home for this. Very important when you're putting your turntable in your new location to make sure that the surface that you set on is level and flat. I usually buy some uh, closed cell foam, maybe about a half inch thick or so, to set it on so it has something for vibration dampening. Next, we're going to install the platter. So the first part of installing the platter is to remove the two transport screws that we put in to hold everything together so it doesn't bounce around when it's being transported. And I just stick them in a random hole here for, for storage. So when you go to move it again, you can tighten things down. This is just a common Phillips head screwdriver. Next, we're gonna take the platter, which has the belt stored right on the platter, and we're gonna put it right back on the center spindle. And then we're going to go over here to the side. Sometimes this is a little sticky and you might want to get a paper clip or something to pull it out. And you're going to fit it around the pulley. We have the belt installed now. Usually I do a quick test run to make sure the belt seats properly and everything's working correctly. So to do that, I've got to plug it in and I'm going to take the twisty tie that we hold the tone arm with off because that's how you turn the platter on by moving this. And it kind of looks like we were successful in putting the belt on. No funny noises, it's moving smoothly. Now that we've installed the platter and the belt and everything seems to be working properly, I'll put the mat on. Now we're going to set up the tone arm with the counterweight and head shell and cartridge. I'm going to take off the little twisty tie that we put on there for transport so things didn't bounce around. I'm going to put that in the box, storage box. The cartridge and head shell are pretty simple to put on. I'm going to remove the, remove the stylus protector. This just pushes in and twist locks on and it's ready to go. Now we're going to put the install the counterweight and static balance it. To do that, you slide this on until it clicks a couple times and then you take it out of the rest and oh, you see it floating up so we're going to have to move it in some so that it just balances. Oh, that's too far. There we go. See how it just floats? Now we're going to set the counterbalance indicator to zero and we're going to turn it to 1.5 which is the tracking force. And that'll put 1.5 grams of tracking force on the record when you're playing it. And then you'll have to adjust what's called the anti-skate which is to correspond with this. We set it at 1.5. What helps, it helps the uh, arm track at the 1.5 gram rate. Now she's ready to go.